around 31, I had a question coming out of section 4.2, number 49, and this is where we were told in 1991 there were 4,360 moose, and by 1999 the population of moose was 5,880. So what I opted to do here was to use my base here as 1990, and that's why you see these two ordered pairs. So in 1991, or one year after 1990, there was my moose population, right? And in 2000, not, excuse me, not 2000, 1999, this was my moose population. And when it's 1999, that is nine years after 1990. So it says find a formula for the moose population, and we want to call it P, um, P years since 1990. But again, this is changing linearly. They tell us that. So I find the slope between the two points here using my slope formula. And then I plug that into my point slope formula for my line and I get my linear model. So you see me taking my slope here of 190 and plugging it in for M being 190, right? Then you see me taking any of these ordered pairs. I, opt, I always pick the ones with the smaller numbers. So I'm gonna take one and 4360. I could have just as easily used nine and 5880. But then you see me plugging in my y1 value at 4360 and my x1 value at 1. And then it's a matter of just changing that over to slope-intercept form, which I did. And then it's a matter of instead of using y, use p. And instead of x, use t. And that's where you see my linear model. Right? So this right here, if I ever ask you to find a linear model, this is a linear model. All right, this is a more mathy problem. And you'll see in section 4.3, we do the data-driven ones. And then the last thing it says is, hey, can you figure out what the moose population in 2003? So if we're talking about 2003, I want to subtract my base here from that and get 13 because 2003 is 13 years after 1990. And that's what I'm going to plug into my function. And when I get 6640 out, that's how many moose I think there will be in 2003. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.